Crystalline silica, a naturally occurring substance used in a wide variety of industries and construction operations, such as the production of cement, sandblasting operations, the production of glass and ceramics, and as a filter for water and sewage treatment. Crystalline silica is also a common additive in food and pharmaceutical applications and is used in the production of fiber optic cables. And while silica has many valuable uses, it can also present a danger when workers are exposed to excessive amounts of crystalline silica dust. In fact, each year there are hundreds of deaths and thousands of illnesses attributed to harmful exposures to silica dust. To prevent these types of harmful exposures, OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, has developed regulations for general industry, maritime operations, and the construction industry. These regulations are titled Occupational Exposure to Respirable Crystalline Silica. During this program, we will discuss some key requirements from these regulations, as well as some safe work practices that you can follow to protect yourself from harmful exposure to crystalline silica. Now let's get started by getting to know exactly what silica is. Crystalline silica is also known as silicon dioxide, or SiO2. Silica is a component of granite, sand, cement, rock, and many other materials. Silica is a naturally occurring chemical compound found in the Earth's crust. The most common form of silica is quartz. Two other forms of silica are cristobalite and tritomite. These various forms of silica can become dangerous when extremely small particles, often called silica dust, are inhaled into the lungs. OSHA refers to this type of inhalable silica dust as respirable crystalline silica. Anytime you hear the term respirable crystalline silica, it is referring to silica dust that can be inhaled into your lungs. Some operations that generate respirable crystalline silica include cutting, drilling, or grinding any type of material that contains silica. Also, employees working in manufacturing processes that utilize silica, such as glass manufacturing or foundries may also be exposed to respirable crystalline silica. This type of potentially harmful silica dust can be so small that it cannot be seen with a naked eye. This is why it is so important to always take proper precautions in order to avoid harmful levels of exposure. Let's next discuss some of the potential health effects of exposure to respirable crystalline silica.